So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about my favorite camera bag, the bag that I've been packing around the world with me. It's the one that I grab every time that I, you know, need to pack a lot of gear. I'm talking about the Shimoda 60 liter. I've had this bag for two years now. Let's talk about how it's held up and what I like and don't like about the bag. In full transparency, Shimoda sent me both the 40 liter and the 60 liter to review, and this has been about two years ago now. First, they sent me the 40 liter and they sent it to me in the sea pine green. And I hated the color so much that I got rid of the bag, I gave it away, and then I paid money, I bought the blue one. I loved the bag, just didn't like the color. I was lucky enough to get a review copy of this in the blue, much prefer the blue. So this is the blue version. The 60 liter has a lot of the same features as the 40 liter. It has these big wide straps. One side has a mesh pocket where you can shove a water bottle in there. The other side has a zipper pocket where you can put a smaller cell phone or keys or anything like that. They feature these big wide straps, which I really, really like. This is by far the most comfortable bag I've ever wore. In the past, I've had Low Pro, I've had Mindshift Rotation 180 Pros, I've had a F-Stop Anja, I've had these, and I've also had the, the Atlas Adventure Pack. This is by far, by a long ways, for some reason, just the most comfortable bag I've ever had. There's just something about the way it fits against your back, the big wide shoulder straps, it's just really, really comfortable. So like most serious landscape photographer bags, it is a, a rear entry bag, meaning that the back unzips and then it opens up. And what's kind of different about this bag is that it does open to the side and notice that the the straps the hip belts they all stay in place and the flap never touches the ground i like that and i feel like that's an important point because if you're shooting in the mud let's say you have you know your rain cover on to protect it from wet sand or snow or whatever this is not going to get messy that's a good thing it's got a big open pocket here this is big enough for a 13 inch laptop you can squeeze a 15 inch laptop in there just barely. Um, it makes it a little bit challenging to close, but it's really designed for a 13 inch laptop. In here I have a large ICU and apparently these large ICUs are kind of difficult to come by, uh, but essentially all of the large ICU is, it's a medium ICU and a small ICU kind of next to each other. And if I was packing a big telephoto lens, I could extend this the full length of this ICU and and be able to get a nice big telephoto lens in here. I like this bag because of how much it carries. Not only will it carry a lot of photography gear, and keep in mind that I'm often recording vlogs, so that requires two camera bodies, sometimes it requires a drone. So not only will it carry all of my photography gear, but it'll also carry a lot of gear on the top. Something else that I really like about Shimoda bags is the fact that they use really thin padding in their ICU units. They're not, they're not using big, thick pads, kind of like what you'll see with Low Pro or something. I feel like there's a lot of wasted space in those type of dividers, but they're not wasting much space in here. And they're also very foldable and, and maneuverable, so you can get them kind of exactly where you want them. All of the zippers over the last two years held up really, really well. Actually, everything on this bag is held up really well. If we look at the very bottom, there's no tears, there's no rips. I've had no problems with any of the stitching and any of the straps. And I've, I've packed this thing all over the place. It's gone with me multiple times to Iceland, the Faroe Islands, Scotland, Ireland, Hawaii. I've taken it all over the place. I've really abused this bag and I've had zero issues with it. And that's pretty impressive. After two years of use with my F-Stop bag, I had already had to have it replaced once. Um, I go through bags pretty quick. I've had zero issues with this thing. What makes the 60 liter different from the 40 liter is the way the top access area works. Not only do you have this top zipper pocket on the top here with a nice large pouch and then you've got a zippered kind of mesh pocket in here to kind of put keys or you know whatever things you don't want falling out, uh, important stuff in there. But when you zip this closed, it's kind of like a maybe an Osprey pack or some kind of hiking pack where you flip this over and then it has this duffel style top. And this is the feature that makes me grab this bag more often than the 40 liter, is the fact that if I'm shooting in a cold climate, it's really easy to shove coats 
and gloves and hats and stuff like that in here. Maybe I'm throwing a drone in the top here, or maybe I'm going backpacking and it'll accommodate a lot of stuff. So check out how much I'm able to stuff in here. It's no problem to get a tent, sleeping bag, all of those essential things, those non-photography things in this top compartment. Not to mention that you have this large compartment on the back that goes the full length of the bag where you can shove other stuff. Oh, there's my pant legs. This is the problem with zippered pant legs. You lose them. But anyways, you have this large zippered pocket that goes all the way down to the bottom. Back in here, there's a spot for a hydration bladder. It's just really well designed. And you can see that it doesn't have an overabundance of pockets and little hidden compartments. And I find that to be a good thing because I want to be able to find what I'm looking for rather than having all these secret nooks and crannies that are really really cool but until you have to go find something in a hurry. I would prefer to just have really large, well-designed pockets and that way I don't have to go hunting for stuff. So as I said, all the straps, all the clips have continued to work really well. In addition to things that have worked really well, I really like how tripods mount to this particular bag. So if I unzip, there's this little pouch that pulls out here. So the way that I'm often using this is I'm putting my tripod in here upside down, then you can kind of cinch it closed, and then just clipping this top section here. I find by mounting my tripod upside down, it's really nice because all the weight is at the bottom and just kind of fits next to the bag a lot better. I just love this mounting system. But this pocket is just so useful for a lot of different things. I've seen people put their drone, their Mavic 2 in here, uh, inside the case. It's just a really handy little side pocket. And then you also have the ability to strap other stuff against the other side. So maybe you're putting your tripod on this side, water on that side, kind of balances out the bag. Uh, it just works really well. It does have a side carry handle here, so if you wanted to carry this like a suitcase, you can do so. As a larger guy, I do find these uh, the waist belt a little bit short. <laughs> it's a little hard on the self-esteem when you when you click it in, but uh, for most most humans, it's going to be just fine. Just not us really large humans. They do make a little hip hip belt extension handy for guys of my size but speaking of sizes one of the things that makes Shimoda bags different than a lot of other bags is the fact that you can change your torso length adjustment so you can move your straps either up on the bag or down on the bag depending on you know how how long your torso is so if you're six foot four six foot five you can go on the XL XL rung there and it's gonna fit your back better and like I said, this is just the, the main thing that I like most about this bag. It's not the features, it's not the pockets, it's just how comfortable it is. And when you're loading this down with like 30 pounds of gear, comfortable is a big deal. And I've just found it to be incredibly high quality. It's made out of this rip, rip stock that honestly, I very seldom ever put a rain cover on here. Uh, because I find that it doesn't really need it. So not only is it stuff held up, but it's stayed pretty dry. There are a few times where I've I've soaked the bag beyond its its ability to repel moisture, but it took a lot of water to reach that point. In most situations, you don't even need a rain cover because it's made out of this really thick ripstop material. So when people ask me what camera bag they should buy, I'm always referring them to either this or the 40 liter. I just feel like Shimoda bags are not only the most comfortable, but they're just smart. It's not a flashy bag. It's probably not the best looking bag out there. There's a lot of really cool looking bags, but I feel like the Shimoda bags are the most functional. Everything has just been so well thought out. It's incredibly comfortable. It works really well. It's not overly heavy. Um, it's just a great bag. I've had it for two years and had zero issues with it. And I wish I could say that about most things that I buy, but I can in fact say that about the Shimoda 60 liter. So I highly recommend the blue color because the green just didn't do it for me. Looks are probably my biggest critique of the bag. Another little thing that I've done is that I've put this little uh, quick release Clip. I love those peak design clips that you can put on your shoulder strap and then you mount it to your strap. That way you can carry your camera like this, but that doesn't work if you're an L bracket user. It just doesn't work very well. But 
because I use really right stuff L brackets, they have these little QR mounting points and they're made to be used with their really right stuff straps. But one of the things that you can do is if you can get one of these little quick release D rings, I can go like that and boom, have it here. I can shoot like this. And if I don't want it flopping around, I can just put it underneath my sternum strap. And when I hike, it doesn't flop around. It's kind of like when I go hiking and shooting video, most times this is gonna be how I'm doing video. It works really well to just have it right there. And if I want to like disconnect it, I just go like that. So this is the Shimoda 60 liter. It's treated me really well these last couple years. If you're interested in picking them up, um, maybe I can get you guys like 10% off or something. I'll have to ask about that. But if there, if there is a offer code down below, it should get you a discount of some kind. And if there's no offer code, then I wasn't able to wrangle that for you. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Take it easy, everybody.